Hello, good morning. It's a brand new week and we thank God for it. the privilege to be part of it. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Father, for the privilege to be counted amongst the living. Thank you, Father, for the blessing of this brand new week. Thank you for all our loved ones. Thank you for our families and friends. Thank you for everyone connected to us. Lord, we say be exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have amazing things up your sleeves for this week, and we are beneficiaries of that. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So happy new week once again. Um, and yes, it's a new week. So what are you up to? What are you up to this week? You know, are you looking? At something new, are you looking at something different? Are you looking at the usual? You know, are you looking at taking down one of the items you put on your goal list beginning of this year? What are you looking at? And you know, the focus of our prayer this morning will be, you know, speaking life. No matter what you're looking at, right? No matter what you're looking at, we're going to be praying this prayer so that we are not reactive. Because the truth is, no matter what you're looking at, looking at the enemy is also looking at something. But regardless of what the enemy is looking at, we are here to command our weak. We are here to speak life in advance ahead of us. So ahead of you getting to that thing that you want to do, ahead of you, you know, getting to that place that you want to be, ahead of you, you know, visiting that place, attending that interview, you know, launching out that product, ahead of you sending out that proposal. We are first sending our words. You know what the Bible says about your words? The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 now. It says, life and death. Life and death. They are in the power of the tongue. So what does that say to you? That says to you that your tongue has power. Your tongue carries power. And the, the scripture now further down says, now further down says, it says, them that love it will hear the fruit thereof. Right. So whether you send it to that, you deploy that power to speaking good, you know, you channel it towards good or you channel it towards bad or not so good. Whatever you use or you deploy that power of the tongue to do will certainly come back to you as a reward. We certainly come back to you as a reward. And this morning, we are choosing to deploy the power of the tongue. And you know, I always like to say this to people. Life is for spiritual. So please never get it mixed up. Life is for spiritual. For something to happen in the physical, the spiritual side has already had transpired and happened. For anything to happen in your week, you know, for you this week or to you this week, it's first decided in the place of the spiritual, whether that be good or bad. And this morning, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to read the scripture to us in the book of Isaiah, chapter 51. And quickly, I'm going to read from 12 to 16. You know, just communicating the what God sees about the words he has put in your mouth. And how God expects us to use it to our advantage. To our advantage in birthing the things that he has put in our hearts to do, in birthing the things that he has, you know, put in our minds to become. I'm going to read that scripture quickly. And it says, Isaiah 51, verses 12 to 16. And this, this is God speaking. He says, I, yes, I am the one who comforts you. So why are you afraid of mere humans? So situations are going to come up this week. Why are you afraid? Why are you scared of, you know, pushing out your effort? Why are you scared of stepping out? Bible says, why are you afraid of mere humans who wither like grass and disappear? He says, yet you have forgotten the Lord, your creator. Now, you're going to factor God into your week. God says, don't put your focus on what humans can do. Or the struggles you see them putting in your on your path, or you know, you know, challenges you see them throwing or posing on your way. He says, Why have you forgotten the Lord, your creator? The one who stretched the heart, the sky like a canopy. I love that. He stretched out the sky like a canopy and laid the foundations of the earth. 
Will you remain in constant dread of human oppression? So what are you going through? What are you going through? What are you scared of? Could it be, you know, as it regards your career journey? You know, your business expansion? Could it be your family? Could it be your spouse? Could it be your children? Could it even be the fact that you're trusting God for a life partner? Since what are you scared of? Why do you dread human oppressors? He said, will you continue to fear the anger of your enemies? Where is their fury and anger now? He says, it is gone. It is gone. Soon all you captives will be released. Imprisonment, starvation, death will not be your faith. And this God speaking. He says, for I am the Lord your God, who stirs up the sea, causing its waves to roar. He says, my name is the Lord of heaven's armies. God is telling, he says, I can do anything. I can do anything. Those things that literally seem impossible. I can do anything. I stir up the oceans and get them to roar. So we just see the outcome. But God is the one that drives these things from behind. And he says, my name is the Lord of heaven's armies. And this is exactly where I'm going. After God has said all of this, that see my power, I can do this. You know, I set the foundations of the earth. And God was saying all of that. And then in 16, he says, he says, and I have put my words in your mouth and eating you safely in my hands. No matter what the challenge may be, no matter what the struggle may be, no matter what the trouble that the enemy has planned out this week may be, God is saying this is the solution. He says, I can do all things, but see how I've chosen to run things. He says, I have put my words in your mouth. I have put my words in your mouth and eaten you safely in my hand, meaning that declare those words, nothing can reach you. Declare those words, nothing can reach you. Declare my words that are put in your mouth, nothing can get to you. Nothing can take you down. Why? Because I am covering you with my hand. I have, I'm covering you with my hand. And he says, what that? He said, I stretch out the sky like a canopy and lay the foundations of the earth. I am the one who says to Israel, you are my people. I'm the one who says to all of me, but you can put your name there. You are my people. And here is God's heart to us. Here is God's heart. He has put his words in our mouth. And he wants us to decree. And that's what we're going to be doing this morning. Ahead of whatever we have planned out of for this week. That is a proactive way to step out into the week. It is a proactive way. We send our words forth on errand to places that we have not yet even stepped out to. To places that we plan to deploy our efforts with Send forth the word of God. The Bible says that the word of God, it says, it says the sword of the spirit. So that means that in the spirit, that is how, as a believer, that is how you step out. Step out with the word. Step out with the word. He has the capacity to reach anywhere. And Father, this morning, Lord, we come out as your children. Thank you, Abba. Lord, we do not care. We do not care what may be going on. We do not care what the enemy may be, you know, Throwing in the hair. Father, we come in your name. Lord, we come in your name. Lord, we come in your name. We come in your name. And we decree in the name of Jesus, in line with your word, we send forth the sword of the Spirit from our mouth this morning. And we decree that concerning us this week, it is not business as usual. It is not business as usual. It is a different and unique experience by God's Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible says that life and death is in the power of a tongue. And this morning we deploy life. We deploy the power of our tongue this morning and we speak life. We speak life. Just begin to speak life to every aspect of your life. Begin to speak life. Lord, I speak life to every aspect of my life. To the works of my hands. Father, to the dreams you've put in my heart. I speak life. I speak life in the name of Jesus. Into the life of my spouse. I speak life this morning. I speak life. I deploy the power that I know is resident in my tongue. I speak life, oh God, into the life of my spouse. I speak life into the lives of my children. And every of their endeavors. I speak life into my family. No matter where the enemy are 
has targeted destruction. No matter where the enemy has targeted death, no matter where the enemy has targeted failure, I stand upon the word of God. I convert that to life. I convert that to abundance. I convert that to success in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I know life and death is in the power of my tongue. I choose life this morning and I speak life to every corners of my life, to every nook and crannies of my life, to every nook and crannies of the life of my children. I decree in the name of Jesus. There can be no death. There can be no death. There can be no death. You know, the enemy might be planning death. Not just, it's not just, you know, somebody dying literally in, in terms of the person, you know, dying and life being snuffed out of that person. Not just that alone. The enemy might be planning death so that the work of your hand dies and it doesn't provide or, you know, provide being to fusion or, or germinate or be, be, become productive or bring anything to life. And we are speaking that to that this morning. In some families, the enemy has positioned and programmed death so that there is no moving forward for couples in marriages. So that there is no moving forward for, for some businesses. He has positioned the devourer so that there is no moving forward. We stand upon the word of God this morning and we say we cancel all of that and we speak life. We speak life. We speak life. Father, in the name of Jesus, even concerning the areas or aspect of our life that we have no clue or no idea, we stand upon the word of God this morning and we say we are proactive. We send forth the sword of the spirit and we command life. We say everything dead come back to life in the name of Jesus come back to life in the name of Jesus come back to life receive the life of God right now receive the life of God right now receive the life of God right now the Bible says the light shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it we say this morning let there be light thank you sweet Holy Spirit we say let there be light we decree illumination all over our borders, all over our borders, all over our lives, all over the work of our hands, all over our endeavors, the dreams that God has put in our heart. We say the pick up, we say the pick up, we say the pick up, we speak life to them. We say, let there be light. We say, let there be light. We say, let there be light. We say this morning there is illumination, oh God, and we have clarity of purpose. We have clarity of direction in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak to the Week, this week, hear the word of God from my, um, from my mouth. You are unique. You are unique. You are unique. You secret the blessing. You secret the blessing just the way that God has planned it. You secret the blessing in the name of Jesus. Every aspect of this week concerning our children, our spouses, the words of our end, everything. We say we enjoy the abundance that God has deployed into this earth. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the food that's thereof. The word and its people, they all belong to the Lord. We decree in the name of Jesus. We take our portion. We take our portion. We take our portion of that abundance in the name of Jesus and we say it becomes our experience. Thank you King of Glory. The Bible says and this word and the word becomes flesh and dwells amongst us. We say in the name of Jesus and these words that we have spoken this morning they become flesh and they become our experience. They dwell amongst us and they become our reality. We said this week, our mouth is filled with testimonies and our heart is filled with rejoicing to the glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' powerful name, we have prayed. Amen. Amazing. You know what I love about the word of God? You may be in one location, that word has gone ahead of you. It is changing things beyond what you know. It is rearranging things beyond what you know. It is going ahead of you to go and prepare, you know, the ground for you even before you launch out. And that is what the word that we have sent out this morning has gone to do. And in the name of Jesus, as you go through this week, as you go through this week, you will see the result and the impact of deploying the power of your tongue this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And if you, you know, tumbled on this call, you joined the prayer this morning, and you are here to give your heart to Jesus, I want to invite you to do this. Because it's the most amazing thing that can happen to you. Please say this one minute prayer with me if you can. Lord Jesus, I come before you today. I invite you into my life. 
to become my personal Lord and Savior. I forsake my old ways and I ask, Lord, that you forgive me and cleanse me, O God, from all unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus, sweet Jesus, hold my hands and help me, Lord, walk me into your kingdom. Help me to live for you and help me to bring you pleasure all the days of my life. Thank you, King of Glory. Today, as I've come to you and I've surrendered my life to you, Lord, I cross from death into life, into your kingdom forever. For in Jesus' powerful name, we've prayed. Amen. And if you said that prayer, now you belong to Jesus. And Jesus is interested in everything in you, everything you are. Let me tell you also that there is rejoicing in heaven by virtue of what you've just done. Hallelujah. And please, if you can, just do well to send me a message, you know, on any of the social media platforms to say, I just said the salvation prayer, and I'll be so glad to reach out to you. But even if you're unable to, please get yourself a Bible, get yourself the Word of God, you know, and Jesus will keep exposing and revealing himself to you through his Word. And always ensure that you say, you know, just reach out to Jesus communicating in prayer and you'll be surprised that it will be there to answer you the lord bless you do have a fantastic week i think our time is fast spent you know the lord bless you have a blessed week everyone take care and bye